Hey, and yes, welcome to another edition of Just Calvin. I am obviously the host of this whole thing, and I wanted to start the program by sharing the screen. There you go. And that's not the one I wanted to get to yet, but it is one of a few. Uh, but let me see. And there's a headline that Janet Yellen uh, did a couple days ago. I think it was a couple days ago. I could be wrong about that, but let me see. She says that Treasury Secretary Janet Yellen, she says that minting a trillion dollar coin would be a gimmick that jeopardizes the independence of the Federal Reserve. Now, the weird thing about it, let me kind of, now I just want to kind of clarify the headline there. And so is this, ah. The role of the U.S. Treasury. And, and see, the U.S. Department of Treasury's mission is to maintain a strong economy and create economic and job opportunities by promoting the conditions that enable economic growth and stability at home and abroad. Strengthen, strengthen the national security by compa- combating threats and protecting the in- integrity of the financial system and manage the U.S. government's uh, finances and resources effectively. The Treasury mission highlights its role as a steward of the U.S. economic and financial systems and as an influential participant in the world economy. The Treasury Department is the executive agency responsible for promoting economic prosperity and ensuring the financial security of the United States. Now, the reason why I read this out was because of this the whole the debacle of a, as far as I'm concerned, it was debacle of a statement by stating that, it, that minting a trillion dollar coin would uh, take away the independence of the Federal Reserve. Actually, taking away the Federal Reserve or taking away the independence of the Federal Reserve would be to default on everything in regards to what the economic and the economy needs to flourish. And that is um, financial uh, relevancy. Uh, if the Congress can't come up with, first of all, they should get rid of the debt ceiling in the first place. Debt ceiling, the debt is nothing more than corporate debt, uh, debt uh, money spent on wars, literally, as far as Pentagon, $35 trillion. And I've said it before, I'll say it again. I'll probably say it the day I die. Uh, $35 trillion in wasteful spending, uh, you know, spending it on, spending on stuff that we don't need as a country as far as weapons, um, you know, stuff of that nature. The $35 trillion of spending uh, or basically propaganda and stuff of that nature as well, because wars need to be justified. Um, and because the Patriot Act and the money spent within the Pentagon means that we have spent more money on propaganda, more money on trying to sell wars than to make sure that the veterans and everybody else who are involved in the overall operations of said wars are taken care of through health, through employment, through training outside of the military uh, industrial complex. So for her to sit there and say, that the one trillion dollar uh, coin, which technically speaking they can't actually mint, uh, one it wouldn't be inflation because you would because it would be going towards spending that has yet to happen, uh, and two it wouldn't take the independence away from Federal Reserve. What would take away independence from Federal Reserve is we actually did start uh, borrowing from other countries majority of what we spend. That will never happen since we are a currency issuer. Um, so I think that in itself is a way for her to not really want to mint anything. Uh, she wants to be able to go through Congress uh, when we both play their games. That's why we need multi-party system. Um, and from what I hear, uh, someone like Andrew Yang is trying to start up, uh, I think it's a fleet forward or some of that party, I'm waiting to see as far as he goes, um, if he gets any extra trouble from the Democrats, because um, the Green Party and Socialist Party, well, independent Socialist Party, not people who are associated with the Socialist Alternative or the 
DSA. I'm sorry, but if you are working with DSA, DSA prides itself in a way, to a certain degree, of working within the Democratic Party. I'm sorry, but you can't be for change if you are trying to create the change from reform, because a lot of times reform does not work. We have seen this within the Democratic Party, Bernie Sanders, so-called progressives. And that's why we need an outside party working on the outside to build the actual genuine grassroots movements. They're on the left-hand side or whatever, whatever side they are, as long as this is based on actual facts and not conspiracies and not um, non-factual content. Um, that's why I try to provide as far as the show goes, that's beside the point. Anyway, so yeah, uh, so those two points. And now supposedly, this was a couple of hours ago, Yellen is willing to uh, get rid of the debt ceiling, which she should have been willing to. It, everybody involved in the monetary system should be willing to get rid of the debt ceiling because that just puts too many political games within the Senate and House. Uh, when they play with fire, they will eventually get burned, whether it be at the ballot box or by defaulting, not on, not on our credit, but defaulting on the um, confidence of people who spend that, that money within our own economy. Um, uh, yesterday, I think I saw a interview with, with, uh, was it? oh man, um, Steve Forbes, he was, he was on uh, Fox business and he was saying that printing money would, cr would crash the economy. I'm paraphrasing, but what people are not realizing is when the, when the fed is, uh, purchasing assets is they're not giving the banks extra money, you know, like not, not say one billion or yeah, one billion, they're not giving like one billion five hundred or something. They're actually paying for the assets that are worth whatever that is, but not they're giving you a penny for penny exactly what it's worth. They're not like giving interest or not anything of that nature. The only, the only way that that asset will get any kind of interest is if the bank then turns around and buys it back. Because when you buy back, you get that with interest. So there you go. Anyway, so let's see. My whole point of that matter is we should never have had a debt ceiling. The debt ceiling, national debt is quite literally money we have not spent within this. Uh, we have spent in the system that has not been, that, that has not been um, taxed out. Look at the corporate tax rates. Look at the corporate tax breaks, I should say. Look at the extra spending of wars that have not been needed. Um, like I said, $35 trillion in spending. That was not needed. Uh, we could have, the only thing to, that keeps us from having proper health care, uh, proper wage, uh, proper employment training programs is the spending of that money because we can spend that money. We could just do it with legislation. That's how you spend money in regards to the Congress. They spend the money, the money is circulated within the economy, the econ that, that money then circulates back in with taxes. Taxes don't spend, taxes don't pay for anything. It just creates a demand for the currency. That's all it does. That's, that's especially with the currency issuing co a country like we are, where, well, like we are, UK and Japan. Anyway, now let's see. I had to remind you of something tomorrow. If I could find her now, let me see. Uh, I will be interviewing Madeline Hoffman tomorrow. There she is. She is running for uh, governor of New Jersey. Um, and I'm, and I'm going to be, um, I have a, a little announcement coming up here pretty soon once I finalize it, but uh, this show will be on um, an actual network pretty soon. I'm not going to say what it is yet, but uh, anyway, it's going to be interesting. Uh, let's see, let me just kind of go over here. And uh, I want to show her and hopefully her running mate, if I can. Let's see. Da, 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 da. Uh, I'm not, I'm not seeing her running mate yet, but let's see, who is it? Oh, man. No, 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 no. Okay, anyway, so it's her and uh, a Miss uh, 
Win Burton or something. I, I I apologize if I if I really mess up the name, but this time she actually has a running mate, which I think might be a good because she has a better one. Anyway, so she'll be on tomorrow, uh, one o'clock, and I, I I will obviously be putting it on my website, on the website, my YouTube channel, and also on um, this anchor. So uh, stay tuned for that. Is there anything else I want to talk about? Uh, let's see. Oh, apparently um, there has been um, something going on with the uh, with the gov. Let's see. Apparently, exclusive federal student aids uh, cadre details increased oversight over student loans. Actually, that's another thing. If we can sit there and uh, pretty much write off uh, something, some student debt, we should be able to write off all the student debt. Same thing with the so-called national debt, at least the one that is the portion of it that is supposedly is with the consumers, because the consumers actually make the currency a viable asset liability to trade with. Anyway, the Department of Education Office of Federal Student Aid, RFSA, which oversees the government's massive student loan portfolio, launched a new office of enforcement last week to overhaul oversight of post-secondary schools that participate in student or federal student loan programs. FSA Chief uh, Operating Officer Richard Cordry, a former attorney general in Ohio, who served as the director of the Consumer Financial Protection uh, Bureau under President Obama and wrote a uh, hashtag, uh, hashtag, anyway, uh, watchdog, uh, watchdog how, how protection uh, commun- consumers can save our family our economy and our democracy. Okay, so let's see. Uh, details why this initiative is a priority of the FSA and their, his leadership is an exclusive interview with uh, Yahoo Financial uh, conducted on October 8th. You can read or whatever the heck. Uh, anyway, so let's see. What we're doing here, for me, this goes back to my roots. Okay, anyway, so life story thing. Uh, my job is not my job there was to figure out how to establish and set up a run and run the Office of Enforcement, which I did for the first six months and then was nominated by the president to be the director of CFPB. But my roots are in, for, uh, are in enforcement and it goes back to being an attorney general. And this is what he looks like, apparently. Yeah, no. Uh, okay, get up here. There we go. Okay. Let's see. I also wanted to go over who's um, actually uh, running. But first, I did take some notes for today, actually. Uh, Steve, now going back to what Steve Forbes said. Um, uh, Steve, uh, Steve Forbes, the COVID mandate will artificially raise costs. My thought was consumer prices have been artificial for the last 40 years, ever since the wage started, started to stagnate creating the wealth, wealth gap. State forms in relation to artificial prices increased due to pr- pr- uh, printing money. As I said earlier, uh, buying up assets from banks isn't inflationary. It's dollar for dollar, nothing extra. Uh, let's see. And there's a, one last part that he was talking about uh, in Thomas. They didn't say what they were referring to, but they, were, they just said in Thomas. Uh, my thought on this is in a period when somebody or somebody, nobody is supposed to work for the economy as, as, as a consumer economy, meaning we import more than we export, being the reason that the USD is the world's currency. Also, given that most people who are not reentering the workforce due to not just a child care, but also companies may not be upping their pay and some may be leaving due to their to that or just retiring. Now, here's the Green Party candidates that from what I've seen on the, on the website I showed earlier. Uh, Dominic Faison is running for uh, LD11 of uh, Assembly. Uh, I think this is the Philly, in Philly. Logan uh, Simmering for Cincinnati City Council. Uh, so is K.E. Hurd, who will be on uh, the 18th. Uh, they're both running for Cincinnati City Council. Uh, let's see. 
Craig Cayetano is uh, running for Hawthorne Town Council, which I believe is in New Jersey. Uh, could be wrong about that. I'll double check that. Um, let's see, Bart Everson is for running for uh, New Orleans City Council. Uh, Lorianne Lor Burgess is running for mayor of uh, Ambridge, uh, Pennsylvania. Uh, Tina also, uh, also Olson is running for uh, governor of PA. Henry Connolly for the first district in PA. Uh, let's see. Justin Paglino uh, is running for, I believe, uh, U.S. Senate. I could be wrong about that for New Haven, Connecticut. Um, Connor Melvini for Pittsburgh PA City Council. Uh, Kenny Warren for Chester City Council. Cam Gordon for, Mi for Mi Minnesota City Council. Edwin DeJesus for New York City Council District 22. Claretta Duckett, Duckett Freeman for City Council at, at large. Kathy Dun Dunbar for mayor. Uh, I need to figure out, <laughs> need to put down where, uh, uh, what, what uh, city for mayor. I think that might be PA. I'm not, not, yeah, I'm not sure about that. Anyway, so Oprah Ravish for city council, War Two. Madeline Hoffman, as I just pronounced, as I, ju as I just said, and is going to be on tomorrow for New Jersey governor. Patricia Kane for Alder and Fairhaven Heights, Ward 13. Joshua Bradley for Raleigh City Council in uh, North Carolina. Uh, Sa Samuel Rose for Schenectady School Board. So there you have it as far as that part goes. Uh, I look forward to talk with her, uh, with Madeline Hoffman tomorrow. That, again, that's at one o'clock. And then I have other interviews scheduled. Uh, I will not be bringing them up right now, but I will... Um, I will do what I can as far as putting that in the uh, description below. Anyway, I think that'll be it for me as far as that part goes. I'd like to thank you for joining me today. And I hope you guys enjoyed yourself. Uh, go to uh, forwearemany.org. Uh, they are a, uh, this is an organization that does um uh teachings on marxist socialist uh they also do um podcasts on facebook i believe it's uh wednesday thursday and friday um and also go to um uh in the two-party system uh dot org they have those shirts at well the uh the festive shirt you see on there actually no, i'll just go back to sharing screen i'll just show you these places while i'm at it actually Let's see. But if you want to, you can go up here and subscribe to this channel. Or while I'm at it, let's see. Switch. Cool. So I'll go back. Oof. Okay. Let's see if I can. Okay. Good. Ah. Okay. Uh. There we go. Ah. My play. I want to play right now. Anyway. So there you go. Uh, this is my, I had two channels because face, uh, Facebook, because uh, YouTube likes to censor my butt when it comes to, um, well, let's just say anything that's not mainstream um, vaccination related. Anyway, uh, let's go here. Let's go here. Yeah. Okay, so end. Uh, did you, there we go. That's where I was referring to. Okay. I think I've been hasn't been doing this for a while. I've been more prepared. Oh well. Anyway, so let's see. This is the uh, end the two party system dot org, and as you can see, this is what they're they're uh, they're working for, which is a ranked choice voting, open uh, presidential debates, campaign finance reform, uh, and they also, as I was just uh, showing you. Uh, they have merchandise. So do I. You can go to uh, teespring.org uh, or .com, sorry, and look up uh, my GPS or anything of that nature. Anyway, so here are the Christmas stuff right here or beach towels or uh, face mask or, you know, stuff of that nature. And um, that's a note that Calvin Taylor sent you guys. I don't know if you'll get a discount, but at least that way they know where uh, who's uh, promoting them. Anyway, let's see. Also, let's see, there we go. And there we go. And this is the for we are many.org once it pops up. There we go. 
So here is that website. You can go to the news, you can listen to COVID states, contact, blah, 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 stuff of that nature. Hoping to have Rob Quarters back on. Uh, he, he is the leader, I suppose, of the whole thing. But oh, well, for now. Uh, let's see. Yeah. Go back to their main page here. So I can do all this, of course. Let's see. Da, 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 da. All right, now I don't know why it does. I don't know why it does that, but it does. Come on, there we go. See my big ass teeth. <laughs> I got those. I got those adjusted today. So there you go. Anywho, get off of that. So yeah, um, thanks for listening and watching. I uh, hope you decide to uh, check out this podcast on anchor.fm slash just Calvin or on YouTube as I'll put this on there as well. So you can have context from what I'm saying. Um, also check out for we are many.org and also check out uh, Green Party GP.us, I believe, uh, on GP.org.us um, and also check out uh and the two party systems and uh dot work uh check them out and buy some merch uh you also go to teespring.com slash i believe it's um green slash party slash it was just 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 look up green party and socialist news so look up um just calvin look up uh, uh conversation with so basically i have a lot of, i have a lot of merch up there so check them out either way uh anywho uh send you out with this Oh, so, so. Oh, yeah.